Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Jeff, what are you expecting tonight overnight? Uh, things are going to be quiet overnight tonight. Little heat, little humidity again tomorrow, but we are watching the weekend. We've been talking about this the last few yes. days, a that there's cool a change down. coming. Yeah, a little bit of a cool down on the way. Nice to see that uh, here in the first half of the month of August. Doesn't always turn out like this. This is what we are watching. I don't often show a national temperature map, but when we've got some cool air that we're tracking, I want to show you where it is right now. And it's across the northern part of the country, 50 50s there, Cut Bank, Montana, 60s to around 70, places like Chicago, Minneapolis, Bismarck, North Dakota. All this cooler air is eventually going to fill in here across the deep south as we take you on into the weekend. We'll see temperatures come down a little bit uh, day by day as we head through the next several, but it does look like by the weekend as we're, we're really going to feel the brunt of those lower temperatures. 89 on Saturday, 87 on Sunday. On top of that, we've got less humidity on the way, and that's going to open the door for some comfortable nights. Uh, we've not had many of these lately. It's been kind of muggy, those overnight lows, and in some cases, even just a week or so ago, we were lucky to get barely below the 80 degree mark. Look at what we have up, coming up by Sunday morning. Uh, we're talking about overnight temperatures that could dip into the low and the mid 60s this weekend. As I said, little, little tiny hint of fall. We're not there yet, uh, but we will get there before it is all said and done. You know how it goes around here. We are quiet uh, out the door right now. Way 31 triple Doppler showing a clean sweep all across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. As you head out tomorrow morning, expecting a dry start to the day. Future radar showing mostly clear skies much of tonight. We may get a couple patches of clouds first thing tomorrow morning but in general expecting a fair amount of sunshine as we kick off your Wednesday. Noontime tomorrow looking partly to mostly sunny and for tomorrow afternoon a few puffy clouds. You do notice close by there's a little shower uh, northeast of Winchester, Tennessee. Not out of the question we might get an isolated pop-up shower tomorrow but most of us will not experience any rainfall on your Wednesday. Thursday's looking dry as well. Maybe a few areas of clouds early in the day and then we'll go mostly sunny on into your Thursday afternoon with temperatures beginning to drop back ever so slightly through the end of the week and again uh, trailing off a little bit more over the course of the weekend. Uh, the reason why that cooler air is going to drop on in, Debbie's going to get out of here. Right now, though, it's keeping that cooler weather off to the north as it spins here just off the coast of North Carolina. Uh, 10 p.m. update from the National Hurricane Center still has it a tropical storm, but just barely 40 mile per hour winds. It is over water and expecting to stay there overnight tonight and through part of the day tomorrow and as a result this may strengthen slightly. It's not going to get back to being a hurricane. It's just going to be a huge rain producer here through the Carolinas. As it tracks northward later this week along the east coast of the U.S. and on into the northeast corner of the country this weekend, that will open the door for the cooler air to come in on the back side of that, which is why we're expecting that nice temperature drop off and a drop in the humidity just in time for the weekend. Temperatures overnight tonight will stay a little bit on the muggy side, upper 60s, low 70s. From there, we heat up tomorrow. 88 at 10, 90 at the noon hour. We'll be back into the lower, probably mid 90s tomorrow afternoon. And there you go, 10% chance for a shower. That's probably actually fairly generous on the rain chances. Again, most of us will end up dry. 92 in Guntersville tomorrow. We'll go 94 for Scottsboro, 93 Athens and in Huntsville. Maybe back up around 95 out in the shoals and it'll feel just a touch hotter with the humidity. Temperatures though edge down through Friday. They'll drop back into the 80s this weekend with those overnight lows in the 60s. And notice the forecast is a quiet one. Uh, not much in the way of rainfall to talk about. Weekend looks dry. Beginning of next week looks dry. And even as we get some chances for wet weather back in here, second half of next week, right now, those rain chances are sitting pretty low only at around 20%. So enjoy this quiet stretch of weather and in particular enjoy what looks to be a somewhat comfortable weekend for this time of year. Yeah, I was yeah. talking to my mother. She lives in South Carolina near Charleston. Mm. She said they got a lot of rain. Yeah, lots Debbie, of rain down that's there. That's not the case for us. Yeah, we are missing out on all that. Uh, sad that the folks there are having to deal with it, but happy yeah. that we are not seeing any of that around here. That's right. Yeah. Jeff, thank you. Uh-huh.